Hello, everyone. So we all know the phrase, money can't buy happiness, right? Well, let's just take a moment. Would you rather cry in a brand new 2021 Mercedes Benz or on a city bus? I'll give you five to 10 seconds to answer the question. Now, a majority of you will pick Mercedes. I'm going to assume if you pick city bus, you don't know what the car looks like. Look, I'm not saying money can buy you happiness because of all the luxurious items like cars, houses, designer clothes, shoes, etc. Though, it would make me pretty happy if I can obtain those items. But we can't be naive. Money is a necessity. However, what we don't take into consideration is that happiness looks different on everyone. For as long as we've known... To be happy is to be married with two to four kids, live in a two-story home, and own a dog or a cat. Society has pressured men and women. We must live out our late 20s to 40s in that manner, and then go on to be grandparents. Unfortunately, that is not everyone's dream, and it's not everybody's story. Happiness can be snuggling with your dog while sipping a glass of wine every night. Happiness can mean being single going down to the sperm bank and deciding you want to be a parent today. Happiness can mean not having a pet or child, but spoiling your nieces, nephews, cousins, or charities. Hey, it can mean partying until you're 50. <laughs> if I were to go to any college student, they would immediately agree that money can buy happiness. Being able to solely focus on school without having to work a part or full-time job, it also means you can afford the full 15 units without having to worry if financial aid will cover or not. Buying books and not have to limit your food, water, or gas intake. Study shows in the COVID-19 pandemic, the health department found that there was 36 to 38% rise in anxiety and depression orders in low-income communities in the United States due to the increase of stress living paycheck to paycheck. This indicates that having money can fix the economic problem. Stressing about paying bills on time is not what I call happiness. You don't have to be in college to experience difficult times or hardships, but money can ease your day-to-day -day life. Money can bring happiness by covering your basic needs. By using money to improve physical enhancement, forms of plastic surgery are available. You are able to also get your hair done at your convenience. I know for me, I like to get my hair done, which is wigs, weaves, braids, anything you can think of. My men, I know they love to go get a haircut about every two weeks. Manicures and pedicures are also popular amongst both genders. When you improve your physical appearance, you automatically feel better about how you look and feel. Money is only evil if you make it that way. That being said, you can use your money to invest the money you earn to invest in yourself, like developing new skills, create experiences, and build on opportunities. Now you're thinking, how can I incorporate new skills and create experiences in my day-to-day -day life? Well, my answer for you is there is more time for volunteer work, traveling with family, exercising, and eating healthy. Inner cities don't have access to fresh fruit and produce. It also It's also a privilege to buy a gym membership. How opportunities emerge is you can invest in the stock market. Many don't have the finances to extend their wealth, which is part of the reason why the poor can't progress. Furthermore, the opposing side can say money can't buy happiness because the same means that true happiness comes from within, not from possessions that can be bought. When you have money, there are resources that can achieve happiness within. Therapy, for example. It is costly, but it's the process of developing positive thinking and coping skills to treat mental health conditions like depression or anxiety or trauma. And honestly, simply daily human challenges we all face. Additionally, it's true, money can buy true friends. However, how you present yourself could attract non-genuine friend in relationships. Paying for everything will show you don't have real friends. Real friends will either split the bill or rotate who pays. So as I close, the phrase money can't buy happiness is absolutely false. Human needs look different on everyone. It's up to you how you spend it for the greater good. <laughs>